Hi everybody! Welcome to a very new channel. So, I just would like to preface that this is my very first studio vlog. Well, there's gonna be a lot of like very, I don't know, like messy. Still trying to figure out how my style is going to be like. But um, I do want to just introduce myself and welcome you to this very new channel and a very new endeavor for me. So let's just get started and jump right into it. First, I'm going to talk about a little bit about my shop. And then we're going to talk about a very new product to my shop, which are going to be charms. And we're going to get into my first artist, Ali vlog but it's not my first artist alley thing but it's gonna be the first time i'm going to vlog my artist alley experience so yeah if you want to look at the sections and jump into different things that um, i'm going through in this video then go right on ahead but first of all i just wanted to introduce myself i'm trina i do digital art mostly chibi some commissions i also did used to i mean i still do calligraphy but i used to have a shop for mainly calligraphy it's still open at this time that i'm recording but i'm closing it soon because i'm just opening this new chapter of focusing on my digital art and doing artist alleys on the side as well as being a graduate student. <laughs> um, without further ado, welcome to Purple Phantasm. I don't know what else to say besides, um, well, I've been doing this for about, I don't know how long, since like 2018, I wanna say. I've been on the rodeo, but recently I've been honing a little bit more and focusing on how my artist alley stuff looks like and like perfecting more of my products and hopefully eventually dabble a little bit more into original content but right now i'm doing more of fan art stuff thank you so much for stopping by i don't know what i'm doing anymore so this is very on the whim and uh let's jump right into the first thing reviewing charms from vogue rays and I'm really excited to unbox it with you because I haven't seen it myself. So it's kind of nerve wracking that the charms might not look good, but hopefully it will look good. So yeah, all right, see you in a bit. So here's the package. Let's open it right up with my handy dandy box cutter. I'm really excited to see this. And doing a little review so that you may know if you're interested in making charms for yourself. I know that the MOQ for charms at Bogray's used to be three, but I believe now minimum MOQ is minimum order quantity, but now it's up to uh, I want to say ten. But correct me if I'm wrong. You can go ahead and check them out at Bogray's.com and. Oh, so you can see, you can see already that this is some kind of rose gold because honestly, rose gold is my go-to. Ta-da! It's packaged in this bubble wrap that is very secure. So hopefully it'll all arrive just fine. Please don't mind my nails. I'm doing my best out here. Bubble wrap. You know, bubble wrap is really interesting. So I ordered three designs and all of the designs were are like back and forth. So like two, there's two different designs on one chart. And I did it on characters that had different like outfits basically and or different personas. So I'm really excited to see this. They're a little bit mixed, but you can already see a little bit of it. So I ordered 10 of each. I think that's perfect for the first time that I am doing charms. So let's jump right into it. I have three different designs. I don't know which one to go first. I'll go with Destiny and Cassette from Tactopi Destiny, which is one of my favorite animes from the winter season of 2021. I think that's what it was. And it was a preface to a video game that is going to be released 
eventually and I'm really excited for it and I love the character design so I had to make something and there she is this is Destiny oh she's so pretty and I did broken hollow glass and it's three inches so it's pretty it's the size of my palm so oh my gosh so the colors are perfect that is exactly how I made it to be I love everything that I'm seeing here look at the rose and the detailing so moment of truth I hope that the back side is just looking as good and there she is she is so pretty so it's definitely a learning experience to like make these charms for the first time ever so on the back side as you can see you could see the black outline in the back but that was definitely on me I had a choice to like fix it or anything but I thought it was like just going to be fine personally I don't mind it at all she's still looking so cute and if you notice that there's like a little plastic thing it's because there's still a film that covers it so you don't even see the full luster of the um, charm itself because it's still protected by a film and so I'm gonna be removing that as I go but right now to preserve it beauty I'm gonna have to leave it on so yeah first up that was talk to OP destiny with destiny on the front and cassette on the back so I'm really happy oh my gosh I can't believe my design is on this I'm sorry I'm just fangirling over my own design because I've never done this before and it makes me so happy and it's on like a little rose gold charm that you could just boop. apparently I'm bad at it so yeah there's a lever but I'm really bad at it okay I'm gonna put that aside because we're gonna look at the next one the next design is from an anime that I'm following at the moment and she is just gorgeous and wholesome and I love this anime I think we're caught up with this anime so I'm really excited so let's get right into it opening this baby and there she is she's a good time with the rose gold uh, hardware again I think all of my hardware is rose gold but I just love it but here in full glory you could see the details a little bit even with a productive protective film over it the coloring is perfect I hope you could see it just fine and the broken glass as I said I think the broken glass is only up front so oh my gosh she's so pretty again all my charms three inches these are gonna be available in my shop hopefully um, after the convention they'll be available because it really depends how much I sell at the Artist Alley at AnimeCon Fresno and I hope to see you there AnimeCon Fresno 10 in Fresno so yeah sorry I'm like running out of breath because I'm like standing ah <laughs> I'm so bad at it but I'm standing up right now okay yeah and then let's see the back I'm sorry for taking so long I'm just looking at the front and let's see the back together and there is my Marine, as you can see again the black outline again artist choice you could see in the back how she I think it just I think it's fine personally I am totally okay with this kind of design again if you prefer it to be set exact same that's on you you can make it as it is but I just didn't know how to perfectly fit it in but I'm so happy how this turned out perfect coloring and I think everything yeah oh my gosh I don't know what else to say because again this is my first time making charms so I'm just really happy how these turned out so yeah that's the charm and then I'm gonna go ahead and check out my last design which is from one of my most favorite anime shows Ever, even though not many people are into it and I know oh this pink girl the yandere like queen but I mean there are better yanderes out there definitely but she's my favorite 
just me, just me personally. And it is Yunugasai. And here she is in full glory. As you can see, again, rose gold hardware, um, broken glass. You can ha you have a choice of doing broken glass or just regular colors. You don't have to have the hollow. There's also stars. So yeah, like I just like the broken glass just to show the main artwork here or the main, I don't know, per design that I like um, highlighting. So this is the front, gorgeous, so cute. And this is our bloody murderous Unogasai. And I hope this doesn't get demonetized or anything. I mean, I don't get paid so far, so I don't think there is no way. I don't think there's a reason for me to get demonetized for this. But this is my pretty, pretty Unogasai with her katana and her beautiful black dress. I think it's perfect. This is the most... Um, fitted design out of the three that I have so I think this is this is great this is great this makes me really really happy okay I'm just gonna lay them out together I hope that that gave you a little bit of insight again bowgrace.com I think their shipping is really good despite having lunar new year I did get it expedited just because I wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure that they get here on time oh there you go i brightened the colors and so hopefully that gives you a better um sight of like the colors and all i completely forgot to do that earlier but yeah i'm so happy these turned out so cute and i'm really excited to sell them at the next convention i hope you like them too let me just put down the camera a little bit more so i have a better idea Sorry, it's in an angle. Whatever. <laughs> and this is the front. See? They're so gorgeous. They're so cute. Oh! And then flip it back. You again, you could do like regular designs also. Like it doesn't have to be like back to back two different designs. You can have just one design and it works together. So yeah. That's it for the Vogue's review. I think you should check them out definitely if you're just starting out, especially. Um, they're a very good um, website and they communicate very well. Shipping's very fast, ex especially if you have expedited. And of course, the more you order, the bigger your order is, the longer it'll take for production. But I think it's just perfect as it is. And I hope that you find this informational with this review and that you will enjoy these charms that you may check it out at the anime con and um, my etsy which will be linked right down below so yeah and moving on to the next thing i'll just like edit it out definitely gonna be the next day once i um have it all done all right i'll see you in a bit
like in bed right now. It's like Sunday or Monday at 1.30 a.m. And I'm just like contemplating, like getting nervous about the convention for some reason. Last night, I literally had a dream that I was already at the convention stressing out. So this is a whole different level. I don't know why I'm so stressed, but I guess it's like one of like, it's one of the biggest events is occurring first like the first big event that's good occurring that's related to selling um, my stuff I don't know why but I'm quite nervous just wanted to like pop in I know this vlog is so all over the place so informal but I'm gonna try my best to edit it well enough <laughs> but yeah Yes, this is a towel to cover up my white, my white, um, pillow because of my blue hair. I don't want it to, like, get, <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to say, but yeah, all right, I'll continue on with the vlog. Um, I think the only things I need done are packing Homura pins in the packaging um what else um organizing inventory in the square inventory uh making sure that everything is put together cut more stickers that need to be replenished keeping it about like 10 around 10 for each item that i have and then as well as needing to do um needing to cut more of the uh, the new ones, the new stickers. Yesterday I went with my um, duo, my partner, table partner, to Staples to print some art prints. So there I have two new ones. They're good quality papers, so I'm really excited for that. And then, um, what else do I need to do? Uh, I'm blanking here, but... Oh yeah, I need to finish my freebie sticker that I am starting to do exclusive to just like the conventions that I go to so for like this time like I think the, like for each convention from now on I'm doing like a chibi sticker of the convention's mascot so I have that that I need to finish but um, I have work at 8 in the morning and I should really be asleep man like savings got me messed up. Okay. Um, I'll continue on with the vlog. Vlog. Time. Okay. Bye.
<laughs> just getting ready. Thank you for getting the vlog. But yeah, we're, we're like pretty much late. <laughs> we still need to set up, so. Peace. <laughs> an R2D2 right there. Oh my gosh, she's a cutie. Anyway, our table's up. It's been really busy, so I haven't been able to vlog, but I'll show you my setup in a bit. myself a shaker charm it's a love potion so cute and it's from lace spirit design so i was really excited to finally meet her with intention in person been watching her on youtube it's definitely an inspiration so yeah first all of the day So it's past. It's like almost one, right? It's one thirty. Oh my gosh, it's one thirty, and um, it's the end of day one. I'll talk more about it probably at the end of the video. But I did really well today. I was really surprised, right, honey? And you can see me. But I was like, oh my gosh, I actually can't believe. I broke even on table, I broke even on the um, <clears throat> Airbnb and more. So I got a little bit of spending um, for some merch. I was really excited. Um, it, it was really great today. And we got home, we got Misada and played games. It was great. And I. I think this is like the best time I've had at a con. I think, right? I think this is the best. So I'm really happy that I was able to see my friends from LA or from SoCal. Um, my brother came for like one day from NorCal. We kind of just got together. It was really great. So that's it for like day one. Hopefully, I'll be vlogging more on day two now that I freed up a little bit more space on my phone because I kept forgetting to delete some of the videos that I took before and yeah hopefully I'll vlog more day two but hopefully I'll be busy enough and make more and sell more <laughs> but yeah okay see you in the morning
So this is our current situation. This is our food. As you can see, all my charms and stickers, my vinyls, my little postcards and pins. You saw my watch today. And then, here's my cute little partner. <laughs> She has this really cute tote too. She has wash your hands. It's been selling, so it's just great. And then these are her stuff. Look at these shaker charms. They're so cute. I, this is my favorite. Ah, shake, shake. <laughs> but this is her sister's art. It is so cute. It's also shakers. I have yet to make my own shakers. Thinking of like the party, goes in and out of And we do commissions. You can see, yeah. and this is the whole booth right here. Yep. Oh, and I forgot about this part. Yeah, we have prints on the sides too. I keep forgetting, but like, yeah. I love Sailor Jupiter. Best. Alright, <laughs> and that's it, and time to go back to booze. Well, it's still not busy. <laughs>
I'm sorry, I have so much hair. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> Okay, before I get right into the nitty gritty of like my weekend, which no one really saw much because I forgot to vlog much, I'm gonna show you my little haul. First off, this big thing is my Zero Two Nendroid that is so hard to cop online. So I got really lucky. They're like, well, according to my friend at least, they're like selling for 200 bucks online. So that's huge. So I'm really happy because it was sold out everywhere. So this is amazing. And it'll go on my shelf of figures. And the thing is, we are not taking out most of my figures yet, but I have some of it over here. I'm not mo taking most of my figures yet because. I want to take them out once we have a house and we have a house a room dedicated to anime stuff so that's me so that's the first thing I want to show you well I'm gonna put away the mystery bags because I'm gonna do that last yeah anyway. I got are these enamel pins that I got from Valora and Vellum this is their website Valora and Vellum because they have amazing this is all original art no fan art in her stuff at all she's like super amazing let me just lighten brighten that but this is her oops quality apparently and i don't i don't mind oops at all the thing is it's it's still usable it's still cute and you could still see how amazing her art is so there you go and yeah, I love this so much. This is like a little hermit crab with a sunday ice cream on top. <laughs> I love that. And then the next one, I'll open up. Give me a second. So, yeah. So, she is called The Art of Priscilla Wilson, but her website is um, Valora and Bell. So, this one is the little lucky cat. And I love the colors. It's all pastel. I wish I could have a better lighting. A little better, yeah. It's so pretty. Look at that! Oh, so cute. Oh, and I have a collection of business cards here that I will go through and follow them on social media. You should totally too. Or Putin, the JJ Obsession, the Wolf Grace, Hannah Dog. Sorry, you could be my bird. She is complaining, Laura and Bella. This is my stuff. <laughs> um, sorry, I had to close the door. Inera. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is Spy Chai Toodles. Screen works. And then, yeah, Cali Cards and Morphle. The reason why I got this job is because I got this. Oops, eat a bag. That was only fifteen dollars, which were originally thirty. Like I said, I don't mind oops quality because they're still usable, and I think mainly here is the plastic. Ta -da. But yeah, there's that. Oh, and I forgot that love potion that I got is from Lee Spirit Designs. I have another one from them. It's a shaker charm. It's so cute. And I have another um, keychain from them that I got. So excited to finally get their merch. Um, I started watching her a lot just recently because of artist alley stuff. And they're local to 
to like the Central Valley. I love that. And here is a Gengar sticker from Kimun Chi. She is amazing. I love her stuff. They're so cute. I got a Chobits um, keychain from them. And I don't know where it went, which is bad. So, uh, but she is so friendly. I love her. Like, uh, we are pretty much artist friends. So, yeah. Amazing. Uh, I love making friends with cons. So, that's one of the perks of being an artist. Now. So, yeah. And that's the next one. I'll go ahead and cut this for now and delete some videos because my storage is getting full. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So, um, next is acrylic charm. Another acrylic charm from Miss Great Designs. Thank you, Ashley, for buying this washi from me, by the way. I'm really that she liked it so I was just like <laughs> a little fangirling <laughs> okay let me just open this up so it's one of like her um, it's one of the charms that is shaking her charms again but she had the most difficult time with it because I'm gonna link her um, video in the bio but basically what happened was that it had a hole and then like it was really difficult to anyway so it had a hole is really difficult to deal with because what happened is that look at these like little glitter it's like it was so bad like she did not like how it looked as just glitter without the oil so she added baby oil in it and it looks so much better and I love it she had to seal the hole and yeah it's just yeah she just did not have fun with this but it's a vial the drones <laughs> from arcane so yeah this is the vial of yeah if you watch arcane you would know so this goes in the eater bag again yay <laughs> all right next up i've got this mystery bag i forgot what it all included but it's a mystery bag from one of these shops that i had cut the card from that they have their name in here so let's open it up together okay what do we have here oh okay i know so we got here i think it's like a shira like the one on netflix i keep forgetting the second part but this is a shira um themed bag kind of because we've got this dog acrylic dog acrylic pen cute we got you know I really need okay so I don't remember the character names um I like the show but there are times that my husband and I were watching and I would just fall asleep I, it's not it's not that the show is bad but I fall asleep or no no I didn't fall asleep it's because he just kept watching without me and I'm just really sad but yeah here it is um, I forgot his name but he's so cute Shira in it. Oh my gosh. And she's a princess. You know, I'm bad at this. I'm bad. But yeah, these are so cute. Okay. I'm glad I got a bag because at least maybe my husband will like this better than I would. So I'm put this is. We got this mug that my husband really wanted. Excuse me for the crinkling again. And it was. This Zelda Breath of the Wild um, seal on the. Oh, yeah. Here's the mug. Ta -da. Ta -da. Oh. Here's the mug. Ta -da. And here's their info. Handmade with care, it says. Oh, ta -ta -ta. Stitchcraft wizardry. Cute. My husband really wanted it. So we got it for him. And then again, lastly, we got a mystery bag from Sharkerito, which is one of my Instagram friends again, that, um, who's been tabling over there too since like 
I don't know how long, but I met them like last con and they were amazing and they're so awesome. And so let's go open this up. Yeah, let's destroy this bag, honestly. <clears throat> so this is what you get, acrylic charm, enamel pin, pop socket, post-it, stickers. That's a pretty good deal to me. It's a panda. I've been wanting a pop socket, but like I don't want to cover the back of my phone. But maybe I'll keep it for in case I change my phone case. So this is really cute little panda. Next up is oh, it's a little spoopy enamel pin. Yay! I want the uh, rice ball one, but this is so cute. I love that. I'll take that any day. Um, next up, we've got a charm. And it's a boba charm. It's a Luna boba charm from Sailor Moon that is so adorable. Yay! Okay, let's put that aside. The sticker. Oh, bunny. Cute, cute. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> and then, ooh, a smexy witch. Love that. And lastly, ooh, a potion drink. Cute. What's that? Ooh, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I got from Sharkerito. Super cute. Sorry, I'm not. Sharkerito is super cute. And yeah, I'm gonna put that aside. I have one last thing that I need to find that I'll do a haul for. Uh, oh, wait, I have one more thing. That's right. A notepad! So this was like a Halloween theme one. Cute! Okay, alright, hold on. Okay, completely forgot, but I have one more thing from, or a couple more things. Or starry droplets. I'll, I'll write it down. Anyway, okay. And then this one is from Neko Oi, new to me shop. And I'm really excited for this one because they're enamel pins. And you know, I'm just about to go down a rabbit hole of enamel pins. So there you go. Okay, let's see here. We've got here. We've got Choco Guy. I was in between like apple straw bunny and dog puppuccino or like choco puppuccino or something like that. mocha puppuccino but I went with choco cat parfait choco cat and so it's so freaking cute and then the next one is it's a takoyaki To buy um, clothing from them for a while. They make everything in house, so they are amazing. So finally, I'm getting to. I got to buy from them, and I got this 
t-shirt right here and I love that they make everything in house mm -hmm. it's amazing so let's go ahead and check this out so here's the shirt and this was their sign from 2020 I believe and it says space cat weekend and yeah um i'll have to do that probably tomorrow because i'm tired and i have work in the morning yeah. okay hi i'm not in my usual space i am in my bedroom um, i'm just gonna talk a little briefly about anime con and how it all worked out and i'm gonna show you a pie chart of how my weekend went profits and expenses that went over into what happened in anime con i can see you can see my glare i'm just gonna take off my glasses because all you see is glare in my eyes and i just got a new haircut basically i did more than i thought i would do this con it was the first con i've ever done in a very long time and i'm really like I'm really grateful for everyone who stopped by. So if you stopped by my table during the con, whether you bought, you picked up a business card, or you just said hi, thank you so much because that actually gives me more motivation to keep going with uh, going to cons and artist alleys. It's really fun meeting everyone, especially meeting those people who I've tabled with before at Anime Con Fresno and. Shout out to Kimunchi, Sharkarito, Lace Spirit Designs came by. One of my biggest inspirations as of recently, since ever since I found her artist Ali vlogs. I'm just really grateful. And like my, we didn't really have a neighbor on our left side of our table or the right side of our table, but we had a neighbor on our other side, which is Valora and Bellum amazing original art and enamel pins i bought that from them i i already showed it to you for like in the clip prior to this clip let's talk more about my experience how i did with my profits so we got the table split it with between me and my table always number one table partner steph who is rose milk tea please follow them link in the description or here it is right there <laughs> so I split a table with her and it was like a hundred dollars so it's 50 50 and um, back in 20 it was it was paid back in 2019 so I'm not even too worried about it because that's so long ago and it just rolled over due to the pandemic and we got the same spot that we wanted and everything so it was great most of my inventory was rolled over from a previous event which was the yokai market i didn't do any vlogging or anything for that but it was really interesting but so most of my money was spent during that time but i got everything rolled over to anime con which was great so i already had everything prepared i had a couple of new prints one that i didn't actually release because i had a really difficult time trying to figure out how to put it um but all that aside, I had a different print that actually didn't even sell. It's okay. It, it was a learning experience for me. It turns out I figured out, you know, it's just not, it doesn't sell. And to be frank with you, when I saw the print, I wasn't very happy with it either. I worked hard on the cherry blossoms and stuff in the background, but it, it was okay. I, I wasn't too hard on myself. During the con, there were lots of downtime on Sunday, but not Saturday. Saturday was crazy. It starting when they opened up, it just went on. Like I never had a break because I also did commissions, and it was amazing. Saturday was just oh my gosh, the rush, and I I made the biggest sale I've ever made ever since I started tabling at Artist Alley's, and most of my money. During Anime Con, went towards food, 
that. I mean, I had Korean barbecue, we had kamesan and tacos at home, and we got an Airbnb with like 13 of our friends. So we split that, and we still, it, the price was pretty good for two nights. So it was a fun time seeing friends from SoCal and just being together. And it was, I can't, I miss them already. <laughs> the friends, they were so amazing, supportive, and I just can't, I don't know when I'll ever do that again with them. So we'll see what happens um, soon. But my next convention will be SAC Anime Spring, April 15th to 17th. I'm already starting the vlog for Artist Alley, or Artist Alley Prep vlog. I think I'm in a separate Artist Alley Prep with like, or from actual Artist Alley vlog. We'll see how it happens here in this video. After I edit everything, I'll figure it out what happens. But um, I said it in a clip earlier that I vlogged for the next vlog that, you know, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna tell. Yeah, I'm just very grateful for this experience. I don't know, I'm kind of just rambling right now because I can't think of anything else to add. Look forward to more vlogs, look forward to more items, and I'm just getting my Etsy started up and everything. And, and I think that's it for this vlog. And I would like to thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you made it this far in the video, comment a double heart down below. Uh, hit that like or dislike I don't mind be honest if you want to see anything more than I already showed you please let me know yeah so hit that like button subscribe and the bell notification so that you will be able to see the next video right when it gets posted anyway that's it for me again I'm Trina from purple phantasm and I hope to see you in the next vlog see ya Bye!